Well, hello friends and welcome to episode 10 of YMC Cast. Feels quite strange that we're, we're here already. Time is really flying as we record these every week or so. It's been great to be able to share with you in the last two and a half months at this point of being in lockdown and being able to meet with you in this way. So as we always do, let us start in prayer. Loving Christ, who overturned the tables, challenged the authorities and ate with the rejected. Help us to recognise when we must call out injustice and stand with the oppressed. Help us to acknowledge our role in that oppression and teach us better ways of living. Amen. So this week, uh, we're going to start with something a little different. The comedian James Corden, which is not something you might normally regularly say in a church setting, uh, famous for Garen and Stacey, and now very famous for hosting The Late Show over in America. Now, you may or may not know, but James's father uh, used to sell uh, Bibles to people. That was his job that he used to be, and he's also a Methodist. So, and in the last week, you might be aware that over in America, there was a certain incident with uh, a Bible and a president. So and James Corden, on his show with his dad, gave a bit of a response. So I'm going to share that with you now. The link shall appear on the screen and will also be in the little box below that you can click, click on. So I'd just like you to go and have a watch of that, and have a little time of reflection on what it is he's saying. So many of you may or may not have heard of 3Generate. 3Generate is the Methodist Children and Youth Assembly, and every year young people from all over the country come together to discern the will of God and to be able to input their voices into the Methodist Church. Obviously, this isn't happening this year due to COVID-19, but every year at 3Generate, they elect certain people, like the youth president, and a group of people called the Three Generate Reps. Now, these reps go all around the country and go to different meetings. I am one of these reps, and that's why I get to go and attend Methodist Council every so often. And I'm going to bring you a video from Isaac. Isaac is one of these reps as well. He's a representative to the Methodist Conference, and I'm going to he's going to bring us a reflection today. Hey guys, it's Isaac here. I'm part of uh, Lumbridge Methodist Church, you children and youth, and also I am your BYC rep for this year. I've just come to give you a little reflection of the day for the youth service that is happening today, to give you a little reflection on how life has been for me during this time as a Methodist and as a Christian during COVID-19. So um, for me, uh, I think I've become a little bit more prayerful, uh, especially involving myself in a lot more groups where we are praying together where we're worshiping together as well because without going to church we're fine we're going to have to find a new way that we all worship so i become a little a lot more prayerful uh i think that's down to stuff that we're doing as youth especially on social media with worship wednesdays on the free gen page free gen reps page <laughs> if you really want to find out more on how to pray and what prayer is about it's really helped me, especially being with like-minded people who are prayerful as well. So Worship Wednesdays every Wednesday on the Free Gen page helps me and it has helped other reps to become more prayerful and, and enjoy worship in a different way that we, we would have thought of doing. Also, being in groups such as um, the young people groups uh, where we've been on Zoom doing some some. Uh, Bible studies, praying with each other, talking to each other, uh, reading the Bible together, becoming more familiar with the, the texts and the scriptures as well. So apart being away from church doesn't mean that we have to get away from the things that really makes us Christian as well. So I've been part of groups with Ruda, with many other young people around Birmingham Circuit. So that's helped me get through the times where 
I just need to go and talk to someone or we need, I just need to focus a little bit more on my, my the scriptures, so talking to other people and learning together as a group has also helped me get through this time, kept me from getting bored sometimes as well, so it's been really good. And also for me, as an A-level student, as many of you might be, many of you might be A-level students as well, who would have been taking their exams right about now. It's been a bit of a, a bit of a, a how do I say this? But it's been a bit weird. If yeah, it's been a bit weird because obviously we won't do exams, and our grade is going to be t- determined on what we've done at school, our marks, all of these stuff. So. I mean, it's been, I've been praying that what I've done at school is, like, will help me get the grades that I need. And I, I think many of you as well will be praying and hoping that the grades that you get will be, will represent you. As this is the first year that they're ever doing this, we're just hoping it represents us as for, as showing our hard work that we've done as well. And I pray for you guys as well. I think many of the adults or adults who are who are seeing this situation are praying for us youth as, because they want us to get through it. It's It's been hard, hasn't it? Because without being able to go outside, being stuck inside, we, we, it, it becomes a little bit tiring, a little bit boring at times. And I think there's been a lot of prayer amongst us all for for, for God to look after us and to to look after exams and all of those sort of things so i think for me if one thing i take out of this of lockdown with me and out of this whole covid19 situation is that i gotta be a lot more prayerful in life um i gotta pray for people i love people who who love me as well who for things that i'm gonna do because at the end of the day, when you leave it in God's hands, it will come sooner or later. He will, he will deliver as well. But then we also have to part and work into it, so that on both ends we're working together to complete this. So yeah, that's my reflection, my little reflection for uh, what's happening right now. Call it a reflection of the day if you want. But yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. But I'd like to hear from you guys. If you go onto the Free Gen Reps page on Instagram. You can feed back to us on how you're feeling as well, how, how you're getting through lockdown, what what what's coming to mind, and we'll we'll look to answer your questions as well. So thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Isaac, for bringing that reflection to us this week. I'm going to now move on to another youth rep. Uh, her name is Mary. Mary lives in Bristol. Uh, she studies in Manchester and she's going to bring us a short reflection on what it means to be a Christian in the, this this time, especially with the context of the Black Lives Matters protests that are currently going on. So I shall hand over to Mary. So as a Christian, I believe that I'm called to live like Christ. And recently, with the Black Lives Matter protests that have been happening across the UK following the killing of George Floyd in America, I've been thinking a lot about the phrase, what would Jesus do? And I've been reminded that Jesus never did what was easy. He always did what was right. And he always stood on the side of the oppressed and the marginalised. And I think that if Jesus was here today, he would absolutely be at a peaceful protest with a sign saying Black Lives Matter. So my thought for the day and my challenge to those who are both white and Christian is to ask, what are you doing to live like Christ? Are you reading books to educate yourself on systemic racism? Are you listening to podcasts? Are you watching documentaries? Are you able to go out and march and protest? Or are you talking to family members about racism in the UK? Are you diversifying your Twitter feed and amplifying black voices? The question is, what are you doing to live like Christ? So thank you very much, everyone, for being involved in this episode of YMC Cast. It's been great to be able to share with you in this way. If you've got anything that you would like to share to us, then please use the hashtag YMCCast. And if you would like to appear on an episode in the future, then please do get in touch with me. So stay safe and I hope to see you very soon. Cheerio.